Here I'm going to try my prediction to Veritasium's video about his beaker ball experiment. And this is, is the second um, problem that he proposes. In the first problem, he explains <clears throat> that, well, first he has, this is an illustration of it. And here we have two beakers. Here's a beaker filled with water and with a ping pong ball that is suspended in the water held by a string um, tethered to the bottom of the beaker. Here we have another beaker filled with water but with a much heavier acrylic ball um, suspended from above. And the problem was um, when the balance was would be released, which beaker would be heavier? And the solution was the acrylic ball. And the the explanation for that solution was one, because both balls were of an equal volume, um, it would displace the same amount of water according to Archimedes principle, and thus uh, you would have the same amount of uh, buoyant force going upward, upward. So I would draw a force arrow like this with a B that should be smaller, um, representing a buoyant force. And then according to Newton's third law, there would have to be um, an equal amount because, because the balls are suspended, of course. Um, there would have to be an equal amount of force in the opposite direction. I'll draw a force arm like this, like this. All right, so here, though, um, the acrylic, the water will be um, supporting some of that force of this heavy ball. Even though it's being suspended by this string, it will still um, carry some of or, or feel some of that, that, that weight that, this heavy ball pushes down upon as as it's submerged into the water. Here, however, almost all of the of of the mass of this this ping pong ball is going to be supported by this string. So all of that would be negated, and there would be very very little f force forcing down. All right, so that um, this this small force would be the one that's into play and not this one. So because it, the acrylic ball is heavier and the water would be uh, subject to that heavier ball, um, then this beaker will be heavier because the ping pong ball is actually so light and it's being supported from, from below. So that was the solution. Now in his second, his second problem, he, would, he took off this string and he's asking, okay, well, we have the same situation except we t take off the string the heavy acrylic ball is still supported from above and the ping pong ball is being pushed down underneath the water but um, being forced down by a person's hand well then then the situation is a little bit different first the buoyancy force would still be the same because the volumes of the spheres would still be um, equal so the buoyancy force going upwards would still be equal. All right. However, the opposing force, the opposing force here, an opposing force here, I believe would be much, much different. In this case, most of the mass of the acrylic ball is going to be supported from above, and so there would be far less um, force being forced down, being supported by uh, being supported by the water. On the other hand, this this force here would be much, much greater. The force necessary for the ping pong ball to be pushed down and submerged down into the water, I believe, would be far greater. So um, given that um, given that this string is supporting much of the mass, uh, much of the the force mass of of this ball, and all of this, there's going to be far much more force uh, necessary to push down that ping pong ball. Then this uh, force is going to be much greater. And my prediction is that the ping pong ball will then be um, the 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 heavier of the two, and the balance would be low. So you're going to get a ping pong ball beaker down here. 
and you're gonna get uh, an acrylic beaker up here all right so my prediction I think I think it's C uh, I think this was a was gonna be that solution if it was equal it was gonna be B my prediction is that the ping pong ball beaker is going to be heavier and hopefully I don't make a fool of myself um, hopefully I'm right um, so but I gave it a shot <laughs>